I wasn't always this way. The beginning of this channel actually started with the introduction of forge map creations. You know, I love forging, it, it's my passion. Creating unique and interesting maps just to share the world. Unfortunately, this path changed when I realized that the Halo MCC was dying. I sort of lost my drive, you know, and as time goes on, the population only continues to shrink. The MCC simply lacks the drive that its predecessors possessed. Why put forge maps on YouTube when no one would watch them or play them anyway? Why make forge maps for the community if there is no community? Guys, I don't want to admit it, you know, I, it's just saying it makes me cringe. But I think it's safe to say that the Halo MCC is dead. The Halo MCC is sometimes at the 10th spot on the Xbox Live most popular list, but most of the time, it doesn't even show up at all anymore. How is that even possible, guys? You have a Halo game, a Halo collection, not even showing up in the top 10 most played games on Xbox Live. I find this crazy. You know, this is Microsoft's flagship title. It's it's the Xbox brand. I mean, what? To find a specific number of players online, like an actual number, we can use Battlefield 4's population statistics. Since more people play Battlefield 4 than the MCC now, I, I find that crazy too. You have a game like Battlefield 4, it, it's it's what a couple years old, and more people play Battlefield 4 than the MCC. It even had its, its successor come out, Battlefield Hardline, and still more people play the game than the MCC. Currently, at this time the video is made, there are 22,000 people playing Battlefield 4 on the Xbox One. This essentially means that less than 22,000 people. Or on the MCC as I speak. Keep in mind that these numbers fluctuate with populations going as low as 8,000 people online at one time early in the morning. I mean it, this is crazy guys I feel like these numbers are quite disappointing. I mean do you guys recall the days of Halo 3 where there was always an abundance of a hundred thousand players online in the Team Slayer playlist alone? I do. How about getting on during the weekend, seeing around 500,000 players online at one time, all grinding for double XP weekends? Even Halo Reach held populations as high as 150,000 for the longest time. What about groups like Machinima, the entertaining Red vs. Blue series that I used to watch as a kid? What happened to them? Why are they gone? Now if I try to play a game on Rumble Pit, the MCC can't even find players for me. I experience long wait times as the game struggles to find people to fill the lobby. Halo isn't as big as it used to be anymore, and I get that. So how did the Halo MCC get this way? Looking at its tragic launch, the game was merely unplayable for a while after the release date. By the time 343 actually addressed some of the serious bugs and game breaking issues, many players already left, moving on to other games that worked and fitted their needs. Why would I continue playing a broken game if I can play a working game? 343 also lacked communication with the community regarding how updates were going and when they would be released. There were numerous weeks where the Halo Weekly Bulletin wouldn't mention anything at all regarding the Halo MCC. They would completely bury the situation entirely. In my opinion, the Halo MCC's population also took a toll because of the lack of support from 343 Industries. How many months has it been since the last update? Ask yourself that. Was it three? Four? This is the kind of behavior that reminds me of an abandoned house that I live next to. The porch is crumbling, the roof needs redone, and the fence is falling. The only support the abandoned house gets is monthly treatments of grass cutting, where a crew is hired to knock all the grass down. The abandoned house would be Halo, and the cutting crew would be 343 Industries. Instead of cutting grass, 343 are adding weekly playlist updates to a bug ridden game, hence, the abandoned house that's falling apart with many problems. Gamers from Europe and Australia still have issues playing matchmaking. People are getting reported left and right, banned from multiplayer for being too good at the game. I could go on and on about this and it's ridiculous, it needs to stop. At this point, even if the game gets updated in the coming weeks, the damage has already been done. People are gone. Halo deserves more and with the way things are going, the Halo MCC is very disappointing to a long time Halo fan like myself. I never thought this was possible. I thought of the MCC as the return of Halo, before the game launched, of course. To our dismay, I was proven wrong, and we will have to wait and see if Halo 5 can push the series closer to its initial success. Thank you for listening to me today. You know, I really appreciate you guys listening. 
Uh, I've been working harder, trying to get more videos out for you guys in a better, timely fashion. So, you know, thank you so, so much. Um, be sure to like and share. Second, go ahead and comment what you guys think about this whole situation of Halo being dead. Um, lastly, subscribe to Weapons Grade to view more content about the future of Halo and gaming in general. Peace. Don't shine, no.